Well, we're ready for the 2021 mule ride. Uh, it's going to be a little, little different than last year. Uh, I, uh, I saw Zach. He went to Germany. So Winnie on the right is going to have to replace him. And my little pack mule uh, of, uh, of Winnie, uh, she uh, developed liver trouble and died on me in June. So I'm really going to miss her. But old Theo there, got some big shoes to fill, but I think both of them will do a fine job. And in the past, uh, several years, I've been going myself. This year, I've got two good buddies going with me. So, there's going to be six of us. Uh, and uh, that's Jim. Bob's over there doing something. We'll get him on video later. So we're getting ready to head into the West Elks. Uh, most of the trails I've been on, neither one of them have been here, so it's new for them. We're going to do about a 60, 70 mile ride in here. And uh, then we'll come back and go over to the Maroon Bells and do a 70 or 80 mile ride over there if everything works out as planned. So it's time for us to get started. Headed up toward Boniface Peak. Nice and cool. Still climbing. Well, we made it to Boniface Peak. We don't need a break, but the mules do. <laughs> yeah, the boys was ready to get out of the saddle for a few minutes. Yeah, we made a phone call. That's Boniface Peak there. And let me walk up here. Well, I can't see. I'll do a better job. We're going to go back in the mountains there about 
I don't know, 15, 17 miles as the crow flies, make a big loop, and then we come back out and go out this way. How many miles we gone, nine? Yeah, we've gone nine miles now. I better call my wife. They're calling theirs. I'll be in trouble. Down, 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 down. Down. Okay. Easy. Easy. Oh, the mackerel. Come here, come. We go along here. To your left. Down there. Left. Down That's there. A, okay, you, you, the, as soon as you come to, yeah, down there by that big rock. You're crazy. No, I'm not. <laughs> a little bit. Look crazy. over there to the left and see the trail. All right, here we go. Now turn left by that big rock. Left. Bob, turn left. That left. Yes. Okay, so you want me to go over the No, way? I want you right now to turn left by that big rock. Right in front of you is the trail. No, Bob, I know what Go down a bit below the rock. Okay. Oh, I see it now, Leroy. Down, down. Turn down. Turn down. 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 There's a fucking trail right here. Okay, get on it. It's, it's a goat trail. Watch for the trail on your left there, Jim. Is it down there by that big rock? Uh, no, just b before the rock. The big rock down there? Yet, no, by, right there, right there. Okay. No, don't, not yet. Go on down some. Get her in the ass and make her go. Do something. We gotta go. Turn left. Turn left. Kick the shit out of her.
Alright, dang it. Okay. Come on. Yep. Left. Starting down now. You're either going up or going down. Day two.
got a 2,000 foot elevation change to make. I lost my mules back there oh, three, about three years ago. Um, it was a 16 mile hike out, so I'm probably 10 or 11 miles from there now. And after walking over the mountains to here, at the end I had to climb this 2,000 foot elevation at the end of the walk. <laughs> and uh, that was not fun. No beer. No beer. No beer. No beer. So now tell me what you got on your mule's neck to protect from having to walk so far again. Uh, by gollies, after that I got me some dog tracking collars and uh, uh, I shouldn't have that problem anymore. So that's a dog tracking collar that the bird doggers use to find the dogs on point? Yes. Oh really? Uh, this is the old, the uh, satellite doesn't work too good. And the main, well, the main reason is that the battery life. I don't have to worry about it. These have got uh, 6,000 hours of battery. And uh, it's their line of sight. But if I get up on a high spot and they're off down here in a, in a, in a canyon or something, I, I can at least find what direction they are. It's a long <laughs> trip. <laughs> <laughs> well, I miss you, honey. <laughs> We, uh, so we got on a five day wilderness pack and yeah, who would have could imagine how rough it is. I tell you, my friend Mr. Johnson's one tough bird. I'll tell you that <laughs> right now. <laughs> I tell you, I've never ridden like this in my life for only a day and a half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a lot. we riding that flatland. There ain't any here, anything here flat. I don't hit a lick yet. Gating these mules. Uh, but we're, we're going around the baldies now. Big country. You're right. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, we camped here last night at 12,020. Uh, up there where you see the snow bank, I camped there last year at 12,200. Well, that is where we came from this morning. Oh man, it went dead. And uh, we're getting ready. To go over there to the castles. But we first got to go down this little trail here. And when I say little, I mean little. Because I went down it last year. But all you got to do is trust your mule. Everything will be all right. No trail. We're having to make one. get down to the bottom. Well, over there is where we came down. And we're taking a break. Letting the mules have a break anyway. And us. Still got a ways to go. Well, we came from over there. There's old Jim. I brought my massage therapist with me. Yeah, he she's did. Doing a good, and she doesn't charge that much either. She's <laughs> kind of cute. I like a girl with green hair. <laughs> <laughs> and now, we go off and go down into the castles and try to find a camp for tonight. There's a big weapon basin back behind me, but I'm too st stiff to get it. Somebody hollering at the dang meal all the time. Yeah. Pretty good view. Well, we camped below the castles last night. Uh, rained on us for the first time. Not bad, but I'm glad we had everything set up for a good rain. And uh, we're off to the next one. Just kind of a pretty view. 
but you can't take all of them. There's an outfitter's tent over over there. Whoa. Whoa. Not a bad video moment. Gosh, this is pretty country. few wildflowers. So we've got a downfall that has blocked the trail and there is just no possible way to get up or down around this okay. without a lot of effort but uh, Leroy bought his, brought his handy dandy battery So it's just not a matter of inconvenience going up into that harsh downfall area above, but I mean that's not safe either. Jim, we brought a muscle man. Money well spent. <laughs> I'd say so. Uh, what do they cost, roughly? Uh, five, six hundred. Mm. So they're not a cheap little saw, are they? Oh, well, this is a steel, and that's a 12-inch blade, and we just cut a, we just cut a 12-inch log, uh -huh. and just no trouble at all. Yep. Pretty and neat. The thing of it is, gas saws. First place, they're not legal up here in the wilderness. Oh, okay. Second place, uh, 
they won't run. If they do run, they don't have any power. So everybody that comes through here in the next year will thank you for bringing your yes. battery powered steel. <laughs> Spending your 400 bucks and I do too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Little Robertson cow camp. Yeah, they use it for elk hunting now. Uh, they put up an electric fence and fence this all off and graze their animals. And well, finally, we get to see some elk. Well, we started out with six mules, and this morning we've only got three. But the mules are up there. How do you know it? Uh, my receiver, the, the, uh, the beeping. Uh, it beeps when it's picking up the tracker. So you got a tracker on your mule? Yes. On his neck? Yeah. All night? Yeah. When I unload and get out here, that's the first thing I do. I don't care where I'm at. I put the, tri the, the collars on them and I leave them on until I get ready to load them up to leave to go home. So show me just not a lot of detail, but what, you, what are you doing with that thing in your hand? Tip, tip it over so I can see the face of it. Yeah, show uh, me. It's got a meter here that tells you how strong the signal is, and and when it when if the signal's weak, it's a it's a real low beat, and the and the stronger the signal gets, the louder the beat gets, and you follow the loud beat. How long do your batteries last? Six thousand hours on the, on the mules, and this has a. Uh, uh, nine volt battery in it. So that's not the not I, the old dog collar. These yeah. are the real deals. Yeah. Yeah. That's the reason I use this instead of the satellite. The satellite, you have to recharge the batteries. Uh, and on a on a uh, five six day uh, ride. Your batteries wouldn't last. So you end up with one saddle mule or more left, and you saddle them up, and you go find the outlaws. Right. Well, let's go get them. All right, let's go get them. Beautiful day in the mountains. Uh, your GPS will tell you. Riding high. Riding high. It's going to rain on us. Yeah, well, we just made soap basin. Life is good. That's Bonfus Peak over there in the distance. We'll be going over it tomorrow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, oh. Oh no, that won't spook you. That's not scary. 
holding the camera too. Oh. Well, the mules are picketed and hobbled and have good grass, so they should have a good night. Hopefully I don't have to go after the ones that are just hobbled in the morning. But if they do, I'll find them. And it's been raining all afternoon. It's supposed to rain again tonight. Got our tent set up. Saddles all covered. Hopefully we're going to have a fire here after a while. Got his place to cook and eat if it does, does start raining again and it just sprinkled a few minutes ago. So Jim and Bob are down at the creek getting water. So life is good. We'll go out tomorrow on this trip. Whoa! Hope that rain doesn't get us. Headed up to Bonfest. We can see Bonfus now. Well, we just got back from our Trail ride in the West Elks, 72 miles it turned out, and uh, I'm ready for a big cheeseburger, chocolate shake, shower and a shave in that order. Next trip will be the Maroon Bells. Well, we've started the second part of the trip over in the Maroon Bells. Uh, Bob isn't with us on this trip. He, he went home. But Jim and I, uh, we're going to take 
I think somewhere around a 70 mile ride. Beautiful day and uh, never been here before. Looking forward to the new scenery and see if we can make a big loop. First night in the Maroon Bells. Uh, we made a 3,000 foot climb in elevation and we're still not at the top. But we found this spot that grass is excellent and an excellent camp. And water just over the bank. So we just decided to make camp. And it is a nice one. Well, we finally made it to the top of the mountain that we've been trying to get to for a day and a half. Uh, but we did have some minor mule problems that helped that time. But from what I'm seeing so far, These things are a lot rougher than the West Elks. Uh, it's just, just amazing. Man, we've been on some rough trails. We're on a saddle, and at least for a while we get to go down. But we've been coming up for a day and a half. Dang, these things are tough. Beautiful, beautiful valley. Now if we can just get off this thing. The trails are not marked. I'm not, they're just, I'm, we're just going by the GPS. Uh, freelancing, I mean, you might say on our own or, or uh, I mean, uh, we're not gonna get lost. We know in general where, where we're going, the trail is, there's just not any trail. Whoa. Today we were videoing this at a distance. Now we're up here. I think we go through that pass right there. We're not sure. Jim. Beautiful day. You bet.
enjoying lunch. They're going to need it. Next, we're going to have to go up that. Capitol Lake. And what do we have on the other side? On her way out. Been a good ride. We started out on a trail called Hell's Roaring and it was appropriately named. Um, very few switchbacks. Uh, very steep, both up and down. It was only nine miles long, but it took us a day and a half to get over it. Um, the trails were just brutal. And uh, I will make sure that I don't take that trail again. When we got to a trail that went south around Haystack Mountain, we couldn't find it. So instead we cut across Capitol Lake trail which went over to the trail that we were going to come out on. Uh, that cut two days uh, off the ride and uh, from 70 miles to 40 miles and quite frankly Jim and I are very glad we couldn't find that trail because 40 miles was enough. Uh, I had no idea the trails were going to be uh, as uh, difficult as they were. I don't know about the southern part of the, of the uh, area, but this northern area is very steep and long, and uh, the trails weren't maintained I think we had to cut uh, downfall down four times and uh, as I said no switchbacks uh, the trails by being as vertical as they are washed out deep rocky just in general uh, very very tough trails in the northern area that we rode, the scenery 
was beautiful. The trails brutal. But I would say if you're looking to test yourself, your mules, and your tack, then the maroon bells is where you need to go. But if you're looking for a more comfortable, enjoyable ride, the San Juans or the West Elks is by far the best option. All six of the mules did an excellent job. No problems. I had to go get Winnie once a little ways from camp, but no major problem. Didn't have any tack failures. Um, didn't lose anything other than a tie down. Uh, so everything was good as far as the mules are concerned. When it's all said and done, Jim and I enjoyed the trail ride this year. We did a total of 112 miles. Looking forward to next year.